good morning students we are at the end of this first lesson now we are learning about derivation of mirror formula 1 by f is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v here you know very well f is equal to what is f denotes here focal length of the mirror u is object distance v is image distance this formula works for any spherical mirror to derive this we need some mathematical knowledge also that is with similar triangle we are very familiar with that the corresponding sides of ratios the corresponding angles are equal if two corresponding uh, angles are equal to the two triangles then two triangles are called similar triangles to carefully observe here we are taking a convex concave mirror here this is a concave mirror is the focus center of curvature this is the pole we are taking an object beyond the center of curvature here from this object this is the parallel incident ray it goes through the focus and the ray is taking from center of curvature ray the another ray is taking from center of curvature like this we extend this mirror center of curvature like this the ray goes along the same path so this is the object here it is a b here it is we can call this x so this is where the image forms image forms here this is a dash b dash so when we take the object beyond the center of curvature the image will be formed between f and c inverted image we are lining a we are drawing a line here with uh, like this this is a p dash you observe here there are this is the object ab a dash b dash is the image and what we take extra we extended this x here the point touching point is x from this x we draw a line onto principal axis that is p dash that is p dash here if we observe the uh, a b c one triangle is there a b c like this a b c and if you observe here a dash b dash c is another triangle a dash b and c is another triangle here this angles are opposite angles here at c these angles are called opposite angles the opposite angles are always equal here in abc triangle abc and triangle a dash b dash c a dash b dash c a dash b dash c at the c these angles are opposite that opposite angles are always equal two angles are equal 
here angle C equal to angle C and if you observe this is perpendicular here 90 degrees so here two angles are equal two perpendiculars are there means angle A equal to angle A dash here angle A is equal to angle A dash perpendicular if two angles are an equal in it both triangles automatically third angle will also equal since the two triangles are called similar triangles similar triangles in that if you take a ratio the corresponding sides you take corresponding sides this is the simple mathematics if you take a b here a b the corresponding side is a dash b dash by a dash b dash this is the ratio of corresponding sides are all equal in similar triangles a b by a dash c dash here you know the opposite is hypotenuse here the opposite to the angle is hypotenuse so here adjacent side by AC AB by here AC this is equal to A dash C are you able to understand here these are tri similar triangles because the two opposite angles are equal and these are perpendiculars so the two angles are equal if two angles are equal automatically third angle will also equal so these are two similar triangles in similar triangles we take corresponding ratios of the sides here the a b is equal to a dash b dash by a c is equal to a dash c this is one ratio are you able to understand what is corresponding sides ratios next one if you observe here x p dash f x p dash f x p dash f triangle x p dash f here one similar triangles this is the ratio x p dash f is equal to f a dash b dash or a dash b f triangle a dash b dash f these are similar triangles in this this is the x p dash f and another one is f a dash b dash here also like that choose opposite angles are equal here is the perpendicular so third angle also will same sorry here the perpendiculars so two angles are equal third angle must equal these are similar triangles in that in this ratio we take the ratios like this p dash x is equal to a dash by b dash is equal to f p dash or p dash f is equal to f a dash f a dash or a dash f so this is one ratio what we have done still now we take can two similar triangles two similar triangles and here two similar triangles we wrote the ratios of the corresponding sides this is the mathematics mathematics ok involved in this now if we observe here the height of object A to B the height of object A to B is equal to here we extended line xp dash so here we take ab dash sorry ab is equal to 
dash x a b height is equal to p dash x so in the place of p dash x we can take a b in this equation in p dash x we write a b by a dash b dash is equal to p dash f by f a dash or a dash f okay in the place of p dash x we have written a b why the height of a b is equal to height of x b dash here. so it is the third one if you observe 1 and 3 a b by a dash b dash here a b by a dash b dash lhs are equal if lhs left hand sides are equal then right hand sides are also equal a b by a dash b dash here a b by a dash b dash these both LHS are equal to two equations 1 and 3 then the RHS are also equal AC by A dash C is equal to P dash F by F A dash this equation came observe this equation how we wrote this these LHS are equal to then the RHS must be equal like that we have written here the distance between p p dash is very less p p dash is very less or if the object is very small like this the principal x the incident ray will be taken very near to the principal axis the rays which are near to the principal axis is called paraxial rays paraxial rays so that's why we have to we must take p is equal to p dash here p is equal to p dash because the distance is very small if the object is very small the incident rays are very near to the principal axis that are called paraxial rays the distance should be take equal p is equal to p dash so in this place we can write a c by a dash c is equal to p dash instead of p dash we write p here f a dash so this is the equation that comes if you write what is a c what is a dash c what is p of what is f a dash f a dash are you able to following a c by a dash c is equal to p f by f a dash this is the equation came so to calculate i rub this if you observe there a c where the a c is here a c how we take the measure these are this is the p this is the f this is the a dash this is the c this is the a a c this distance will come p a p a minus p c we subtracting this p c this distance from a c we subtracting carefully observe here AC is there, this distance will come. How AC distance from the distance between P to A, we are subtracting P to C, this distance, from this distance, from this distance, from PA, we are subtracting PC, we are minusing that PC. So, that AC will become the AC is written as this AC is written as this P this distance is subtracting from P A dash C where is A dash C here A dash C this distance how this distance will come P C P C this distance P A dash 
the PA dash distance is subtracting from PC, then it will come. This A dash C is written as PC the distance minus PA dash. PF uh, as it is remain. Next A dash F. A dash F. This A dash F will come here if we look f a dash here c here a here p a dash f distance will come we are subtracting this p f distance from f a dash p a dash so p a dash minus p f p a dash minus p f this distance will come so we have written that distances like that here just simple logic that AC distance AC distance will come from subtracting PC distance minus PA dash ok uh, now what is P to A distance P to a distance it is what is it is object so the distance between pole to a it is the object so object distance is denoted by u object distance p a object distance it is denoted by u and p c p to c here the distance between pole to center of curvature the distance between pole to center of curvature PC is equal to radius of curvature that is denoted by R that is equal to 2 times of F 2F by P to C again that is also radius of curvature it is R or 2F is the type of focal length next P a dash the distance from pole to a dash here a dash is the object distance so object distance sorry image distance p to a dash image distance it is denoted by v small v like p to a distance next p f p to f the distance from pole to focus it is the focal length P to F focal length. Again P A dash, the distance between P to pole to A dash, it is image distance V minus P F F. So these are the notations. What we have written for P A P C that object distance, image distance, there is the parts of the mirror we have written there. Okay, this is the equation came. So if we cross multiplication this u minus 2f into b minus f is equal to f into 2f minus b. Just the calculation u into v u v u into minus f u f minus into plus minus 2v f v minus into minus plus 2f square here 2f into f 2f square minus 2f e if we write all one side uf minus 2f e plus 2f square is equal to this 2f square comes here 2f square plus 2fe only fe here only fe plus fe is equal to 0 here plus 2f square minus 2f square cancel here uv minus uf uv minus uf here minus 2fe here plus fe plus Fe, this Fe. So 
the yafi here one yafi will remain here one yafi is there here two yafi minus two yafi means minus yafi is equal to zero if we divide this equation divide by u v f u v by u v f minus u f by u v f minus f e by u v f is equal to zero look what we have done we divided this equation by u v f u v u v cancel u u cancel and f f can cancel here f f cancel v v cancel what is remain here 1 by f is minus 1 by v minus 1 by here u is equal to 0 here 1 by f is remain like that if we send that minus 1 by u plus 1 by u here first 1 by v is there 1 by v plus minus 1 by u 1 by f u plus 1 by u so this is the equation 1 by f is equal to 1 by u v plus 1 by u or 1 by f is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v in this simple mathematics involved in this uh, there are derivation of mirror formula similar triangles after that the distances and third step is by dividing u f to derivation this we simply remember the first similar triangles and then this distances and third is by dividing u v f to do this we obtain this formula 1 over f is equal 1 over u 1 plus 1 over v or 1 by f is equal 1 by u plus 1 by v this is the mirror formula students if you practice this 2 to 3 times you will learn very well